please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. We continue to decode and analyze the Supreme Court judgment, uh, the Aadhaar verdict, 1,500 pages coming in from the Supreme Court today. Joining us now is the former finance minister, Mr. P. Chidambaram, also comes for one of the petitioners in the matter. Mr. Chidambaram, appreciate you joining us here. Before I talk to you about uh, the legal implications, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the political implications. We've heard from the finance minister, Mr. Jaitley, and Mr. Jaitley basically saying that the Supreme Court has upheld that Aadhaar is a money bill. I had given detailed reasons for that, and my position and the government's position stands vindicated today. If I take a look at what the Supreme Court has also said, of course, the dissenting order uh, is different, but what the majority judgment says, it highlights the importance of the Rajya Sabha in the parliamentary system, but it says Section 7 is the main provision of the Aadhaar Act and has elements of a money bill. Section 7 has a substantial nexus with the appropriation of funds from the Consolidated Fund of India, which are in line with Article 110 that lists elements of a money bill. So the government says, we stand vindicated, the Supreme Court upholding the money money bill route. Yeah, I wish your questions were short <laughs> so that the viewers will understand the answer. We did not question Section 7. We said if Section 7 had stood alone, it would satisfy Article 110. Mm. But there were three other sections which were suspect sections. Now, I think the Supreme Court showed great judicial forbearance and thus saved the government from a major embarrassment. Hmm. Two sections were read down. Yeah. One section was struck down. Hmm. That's how the suspect sections did not invalidate the bill. If the three uh, suspect sections uh, had remained there, hmm. as they were intended to remain there by the government, the bill was clearly not a money bill, and they passed it as a money bill by a slate of hand. Mm. It was a gross misadventure. The Supreme Court has saved the government major embarrassment by reading down two sections mm. and striking down one section. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed that the finance minister should focus on section seven and not focus on the three sections which were challenged as making a bill not a money bill. Mm. Yeah, on the sections that were challenged, sir, and again, uh, the finance minister's comments on that, while he's not specifically uh, talking about, or at least he doesn't specifically mention which section he speaks of, let me quote to you what he says. He says that there are two, three prohibited areas. Need to understand, are these totally prohibited or a legal battle is needed? Don't think these prohibited areas are perpetually prohibited. I don't know what he means. What is he talking about? The Supreme, on the merits of the bill, the Supreme Court has said that you cannot go beyond services, benefits, and subsidies paid for by the Consolidated Fund of India. Mm. That is the idea of Aadhaar conceived by the UPA government mm. and implemented for about two years after we rolled it out until the government changed. Mm. What did the new government do? The new government went far beyond subsidies, benefits, and services. They applied it to mobile telephone. Mm. They applied it to bank account. Mm. They applied it to school admissions. And I think they were contemplating applying it to train reservations, airline reservations, mm. what not, what not. All that has been struck down. Mm. All that has been totally prohibited. Mm. You cannot go beyond subsidies, benefits, and services paid for by the government of India. Mm. Therefore, the way to look at it is the Supreme Court judgment has saved the Aadhaar introduced by the UPA mm. and struck down the distortions introduced by the NDA. Mm. Okay, so uh, you're saying that uh, uh, they have reined in what was a rampant misuse of the Aadhaar by linking it to all kinds of services, and the Supreme Court has put safeguards and guardrails in place. In terms yes. of the next steps now, Mr. Chidamram, in light of the order today, uh, you know, uh, you've had private companies, private agencies uh, access Aadhaar information. What happens to that information uh, in the context of the Supreme Court order? All that is now prohibited. No private body. That's made absolutely clear. No private body can use Aadhaar can insist on Aadhaar or can ask for authentication based on Aadhaar. That's 
a no-go area. Mm. Now, if a private body has already uh, collected other information of certain people, mm. what sh should be done, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to read the judgment more carefully. At one place, they said that the government should bring forward very quickly a data protection law based on the Justice Sri Krishna Committee report. I suspect that at uh, some stage there will be follow-up litigation where the court will be requested to direct the government to ask all these private uh, agencies which have collected Aadhaar data to destroy the data. Okay. That data cannot remain in the hands of private bodies hmm. anymore. Hmm. But those are matters which we have to examine more carefully. Uh, it's a long judgment and all of us had to read it quite rapidly. Uh, sir, since I have you here and there is breaking news now, we've been uh, awaiting this order from the government. The notification is in. Uh, customs duties being hiked on 19 items. I'm going through that list and I will give you details in just a second. But air conditioners, household refrigerators, washing machines less than 10 kilograms, compressors for air conditioners, refrigerators, speakers, footwear. Uh, it's a long list, sir, but 19 items that the government has decided where tariff measures have been taken to curb the imports of what they call non-essential items. Your first reaction, Mr. Jadambra? Well, I've never believed that this will improve your current account balance immediately. I can understand a major commodity of import like gold uh, or a commodity where the prices are uh, rising like oil. Mm. But if you begin to impose pick and choose, mm. if you decide what is essential and non-essential, uh, well, it only means that this government no longer believes in free trade. That's mm. been known for quite some time now. Mm. They are essentially protectionist. So these are protectionist measures. It, it won't immediately improve your current account balance. Okay. But what will happen is other countries will impose similar tariffs on imports from India. Mm. This is a game two can play. Hmm. So if you raise tariffs on imports from other countries, what yeah. you consider inessential, other countries will impose tariffs on imports from India, which they consider inessential. Okay. So it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a game that you, you won't win. Uh, okay. The answer is to address the fundamental causes, uh, which I've said in many columns and tweets, yeah. fundamental causes and improve the environment here, improve the climate here yeah. for more people to invest in India. Right. These are short-term measures which have very, very uh, minor results. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Chitamram, just on some of the items here, sir, I'm looking at it. Aviation turbine fuel. Uh, you know, the government has said that this list is a list of non-essential items. The airline sector is already a sector that's faced with severe headwinds at this point in time. Aviation turbine fuel, uh, the uh, import basic customs duty from 0 to 5%. To call it an inessential item is absurd. It is indeed an essential item. Apparently, the government's thinking is it is essential only for those who are flying, hmm. and those who are flying can afford to pay a little more. Therefore, let's squeeze the flyer and collect a little more. So this government has always uh, taken that line. Uh, squeeze uh, as many people as possible and collect a little more. Since they can only grumble, they can't do anything about it. Look at the taxation on petrol and diesel. Hmm. What can you do? Every time you fill your tank, you can grumble, but what can you do? You have to fill your tank on that day in order to go to your workplace and go back home. Likewise, any flyer will grumble and pay the additional charge hmm. because he has to fly. But what is but the this impact, government has sir? always taken that but attitude. But Mr. Chidamram, what is the impact that you foresee for the aviation sector, a sector that is already saddled with mounting losses, the debt burden is, uh, is extreme, you've already seen an impact of high crude prices, low yields, and now on the face of it, it looks like a, uh, an ATF, uh, further woes on ATF. Ask them. I mean, ask Air India, ask Jet Airways. They'll tell you uh, what this will mean. I mean, this government has a very limited vision. Uh, it has, it's very blinkered, uh, what they call tunnel vision. Mm. Uh, it is not able to see all aspects of an issue before it takes a decision. Uh, 
tell me how is aviation turbine fuel a non essential yeah. item yeah. when you are building airports uh, running planes under the nodan program mm. encouraging people to buy aircraft encouraging people to fly and then you say aviation turbine fuel is a non essential item I mean, it's so warped thinking mm. Uh, sir, some of the other items on this list, and I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm am ambushing you, but we're dealing with this news as it's coming in as well. Uh, diamonds, semi-processed, half-cut or broken, radial car tires, footwears where the custom duty has been hiked from 20 to 25 uh, percent, articles of jewellery, articles of goldsmith or silversmith wares, uh, bath, shower bath, sink, wash basins. Uh, you know, w w what do you make of this list? Nothing. Don't brush your teeth. Don't wash your face. <laughs> I mean, this is absurd. If you if you if you stop um, uh, rough diamonds from coming in, it will impact the diamond industry straight away. It employs millions of people in the polishing and cut and, uh, and, and uh, polishing and cutting trade. Well, I think uh, they are their premises. Well, people will only grumble. What can they do? They have to pay. But then people will grumble, people will pay, mm. but people won't forget. Mm. They will remember it. Uh, what, what, uh, on balance, I think the number that, uh, that we have uh, coming in from the government in terms of what it sees the impact, about 86,000 crores or something like that is what I last saw. From this? From these import the, tariffs, 86,000 crores? I'm just trying to check that number. But no way, no way. No way it's 86,000 crores. Okay, I, I'm going to try and reconfirm that number, but that was the last number 86, that I... 86,000 crore is almost... Uh, 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 86,000 crore is 800 and... 60 billion crore, 860 billion crore is almost 10 billion, 10, 11 yeah. billion dollars. Yeah. No way. Okay. Even the Economics Affairs Secretary says all the measures that we have taken, the five measures and the that essential. Amount of, that amount of about, yeah, uh, yeah, 8 to 10, 10 billion. But I am yeah. trying to see how much this number works out to. But once again, to refresh our viewers, ah. air conditioners, refrigerators, washing machines, footwear, and aviation turbine fuel. The big one there uh, is ATF, and that is going to have an impact. <laughs> impact instantly uh, on consumers and Karin, uh, yes sir i have not read a single column or analysis which says that because of the measures they have taken hmm. they're going to get eight to ten billion i wrote a column saying they will not then yesterday or so mr yogendra alag said they will not and there were many others who have written in the last four or five days saying right. these measures are half-hearted these measures are not going to improve the inflow of foreign exchange. Mm. The first step you should take is to stem the outflow mm. of uh, FPI investments in India. Mm. You stem the outflow first. I, I have then, the number, sir. I have the number. 86,000 crores was the value of these 19 goods uh, imported in FPI 18. Correct. So upon that, if you increase tariffs by an average of 5%, mm. you will get 5% of 86,000 crore. Mm. And 5% of 86,000 crore is about, what, 4,000 crore or so. Mm. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Good luck to them. But these are, these won't be taken kindly by markets or analysts. And mm. certainly other countries won't take kindly to these measures. Mm. Uh, Let's well, see what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Chidamra. We Thank appreciate you, you joining us. Uh, uh, that's the former finance minister saying that this is not going to make a difference as far as the government's attempt to try and rein in the current account deficit uh, is concerned. But it will certainly impact uh, sectors uh, like aviation negatively. Uh, and, of course, uh, we could expect retaliatory action. Uh, this will be something that governments across the world will be watching out for very closely. Again, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, that is the list flashing on your screens. Air conditioners going from 10 to 20 customs duty refrigerators 10 to 20 washing machines 10 to 20 footwear 20 to 25 aviation turbine fuel 0 to 5 percent 19 items on that list those are some of the main items where we are seeing the the impact of those import curbs uh, coming into effect we will try and get you more reactions uh, on what the implications will be but I, I know that that the aviation turbine fuel is the one that is going to 
hurt uh, and it's going to hurt an already beleaguered sector. In fact, here was the government uh, talking about uh, a bailout package for, for Air India and providing some sort of relief uh, for the aviation sector. And now you have already crude prices moving higher and aviation turbine fuel, uh, the duty going up from currently 0% to 5%, and of course the GST demand of bringing it under the ambit of the GST, uh, that continues uh, to be pending and it's unlikely to go through anytime soon. So that is going to be a sector to watch out for, but, but that is the list.